My name's Tara, and I'm a 65-year-old retired college professor. I don't know anything about construction. So if I can convert a schoolie, anyone can. So let's see if I can. Finished the last of the demolition. We got the back panel out. Right now, it's a little hard to drive the bus because there's no seat. But I wanted to be able to get under the seat and uh, treat some of this rust so that then we can put the whole floor in and put, it, uh, put the seat on top. I wanted to move the seat a little bit forward because I'm short, but it turns out that's not really possible given what all is underneath the bus. So, Next stop is to actually put insulation in the floor. So first I'm gonna paint this floor and then we can get on with it as soon as that dries. By the time you get to my age, you realize that what's underneath is probably more important than what's on the surface. So Fanny had a lot of rust on her roof. So I've put a, I, I treated it with, I sanded it, took a long time. I took all of the adhesive off, I sanded it, and I put a rust converter on and a base coat. And now I'm going to finish with some Rust-Oleum. And I hope that will protect the ceiling uh, after I put in the insulation and cover her all up again. All the rust prone places in the bus are now treated and painted and protected. So we're ready to move on to putting everything on top of it and making all of this blue disappear. We really like the idea though that Fanny is true blue inside and outside, even if you can't see it. Okay, the insulation is in. The thing is that physics will always get you. I measured from the side to side of the bus and it's 90 inches and my boards are eight feet long. So I thought, oh, cut a few inches off and it'll be fine. But the problem is the lip. You can't actually put, you, you can't actually get it in the a 90 inch long board in sideways. And I learned that by doing the insulation, which is also through four, uh, four feet by eight feet wide. So I'm going to change the orientation of the boards so they go sideways. It'll be no problem. But when I did this with the insulation, I ended up with just a jigsaw and with a lot of, I'm not very good at cutting, so a lot of kind of sticking things together. And it'll be fine because I'm going to cover it with tape and it's all good. Uh, but I've made myself a template of the wheel cover because I clearly am not very good at doing anything freehand. It's amazing how much difference 100 feet of seam tape can make really tidies the place up. 